My name is Oliver Picard and I play with classic cars on some of the world's most beautiful roads for a living. That Porsche rear engine blood shining through. In 2020, I went to Retromobile Paris and saw some of the most exquisite, handmade, hand-finished and expensive cars on the planet. On returning home, the pandemic hit and I decided that the time for dreaming was done. I wanted to build my dream. I wanted to build the car that I had been designing since childhood. So with the help of my aerospace engineer and rallyist father, Andrew, we set about trying to find the perfect project. We found it rotting in a side yard in Normandy. Crashed, twisted, broken, buckled and fire damaged, a GTM. We dragged it home and tore it apart. Re-engineered from the ground up, engine, suspension, fuel system, drivetrain, even the seating position. Everything. Bespoke, one of one. This is Project Mosquito. Hello. Hello. And welcome to the workshop. Now in last week's video, you made this lovely suspension mount. Yep. I helped, um, but I was now useless because I've been full of allergies. Not anymore. We've had like big storms and stuff and I can breathe again. It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, so in this week's video, it turns out breathing highly underrated. <laughs> right. So in this week's video, we are going to assemble, or rather dad is going to assemble because he did this one, but dad's going to assemble the mount that we made, a kit of parts for, for the other side, yep. because it's just a mirror image of this and we've got it all ready to go. And then we're going to strip the entire car down and put it on my kitchen table. So this, this part is just a temporary uh, Temporary fixing. T temporary fixing point, just to keep the distance between the two tubes correct while we've got the front one. Now the front one's stacked in place, it now basically replaces this one. Hopefully I have to move, remove one of these and weld it in properly. <laughs> I've been at it 10 minutes. <laughs> That little guy on the handrail of the stairs is a black red start. And there's a little tiny nest just above the mosquito. Which is quite funny because they eat flies and insects. Um, so there's a little tiny baby up there in an old house martin's nest. And that's one of the reasons why we're trying to get the car off the table because we don't really want to interfere because they're quite rare. And they only tend to have like one chick at a, chick at a time. It's a chassis! Yep, yeah, so it's not quite finished yet. No, we need steering. Yep, yeah, and lots and lots of welding. Yes. So we can do lots and lots of welding, we're going to tear it all down. And I don't like the term tear down. No. It's a bit aggressive, isn't it? Yeah, pull it, we're going to pull it in bits instead. No! Oh, <laughs> we're going to gently disassemble it and place it on my kitchen table, and then you can do lots of welding. Yep.
stiff, huh? A bit more for safety. It's a bit more comfortable way across the bar. Yeah, I'll lift this and you get that in. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you're now typing a comment telling me telling me I should wear steel toe cap boots in the comments, stop it. So before we lift the raw cage off all of this mess and put it onto the kitchen table, let's get rid of the chassis table because I don't think we're ever gonna need it again. Because when it comes off the kitchen table gonna have wheels. Yep, yay. Yep, yay. <laughs> Put it next door for now. Huh? Put it next door for now. Yeah. Take it over for Turn it outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. It's really heavy. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh, no. Uh, bu -bu 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 there you go. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Liberta. How cool that is. Hmm? Uh, how much does it weigh? There you go. And what's that say? 67.1. 67 67.1 kilos. It only took us 51 episodes to make a chassis. <laughs> uh, in, a, in another 230, we might actually get it on the road. <laughs> yep, so we've still got lots of finish welding to do. I've still got to make uh, the front panel for this to box it, make it into a box. Yeah, but just celebrate the moment. Yeah. It's a chassis. Yeah. It's not a fully welded chassis, but it is a chassis. Yep. And that's an, that's an awesome, awesome thing. And it's underway. Which is even better. Which is even better. And that's the thing, like, the, this entire process has been a, a process of trying to make this car as light and stiff as possible. And every single time we have an opportunity to save weight, we take it. Yeah. Without spending a fortune on, on lightweight parts, without spending a fortune on, like, super fancy materials like titanium bolts and stuff like that that are really expensive, because after all, you can do that stuff after. Like, if we wanted to put you know, aluminium uprights on it afterwards, so like the, the fancy aftermarket ones, we could do that, you yeah. know what I mean? But if it's light to begin with, then you can make it lighter. Whereas if you've got a really heavy thing, it's hard to make it lighter, isn't it? Yeah. But, if we're underweight, that's amazing. But I do want to add a lot of sound ending and stuff and make this car nice and comfy and have a nice interior. Although my idea of comfy is quite spartan, but it still has to feel nice, it still has to look nice, and all of that's all of that's weight, yeah. all of the sound deadening, you know, leather, Alcantara, like it all adds weight, doesn't it? Yeah. And um, obviously cows are quite heavy. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it all adds. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're wrapped in. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, it all adds. And it, oh, it, so for underweight then, it allows me to add luxury comfortably. Yeah. And, and that's an important thing for me because this isn't a SEMA build. This is this is going to be my car, and uh, I couldn't. Uh, I'm, I'm overjoyed with it all. And if you think this video is a bit shorter than usual, it's because 
Dad and I are knackered. Um, not only have we been doing this, but we've also been wheelbarrowing stone. And thank you for that. <laughs> we've been wheelbarrowing stone for my house uh, next door for the last two weeks, two and a bit weeks. Every single morning, eight o'clock in the morning, big granite blocks like this because I've been trying to get hold of stone to build my house next door for the last two years, ever since the spicy cough. I haven't been able to get any. And one guy wanted to charge me six grand for a piece of stone this big for a window bottom. <laughs> Crazy. And uh, I, I, it's taken me two years, but I've finally got local stone and it's beautiful, isn't it? Yep. It's when he's turning into bits of house now. And um, if you'd like to check out the story of our workshop um, and the story of my house next door, we have a second channel called Picard Home and Garden. There'll be a subscribe button to the to that channel at the end of this video. And uh, if you'd like to check that out, that's Picard Home and Garden. There'll be a subscribe button to that channel at the end of the beauty shots, because I know everyone likes the beauty shots. And there'll be a button that looks like my face. Click on my face to subscribe, or you can click down there or whatever you want to do. And make sure you leave a comment down below. And there's a bell icon as well, which apparently really helps for reasons known only to YouTube. So thank you all for watching. Please be awesome to each other, and uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.